Well, we have some more updates from Iowa football as two players will not be turn returning next season. That's right. Wide receiver Jay Sheil will not be coming back due to injuries. And then running back Derek Mitchell will graduate from Iowa in the spring, but will transfer to another program for his final season. You know, it's a good thing that Matt Vandenberg is coming back to fill that wide receiver position because they really struggled last year without him. So hopefully this gives them an opportunity to bring another recruit in. Yeah, and at the running back position, at least Wadley is coming back. That mm -hmm. will help us out big time. And hopefully some freshmen coming in next year will yeah, also be that's right. a big impact. But switching over to men's basketball, the Hawkeyes take on number 25 ranked Maryland tonight in an attempt to move on from the Northwestern debacle. And the starters need to bring that spark that the brunch bought with them in Evanston. Iowa starting five just couldn't seem to find the rhythm against the Wildcats. And within the first four minutes of the second half, Coach McCaffrey sat the starting five and had them watch the bench try to come back and win a game that seemed nearly impossible right from the tip. Coach just told us, hey, we need more energy. Uh, you guys got to go out there and provide us work. It was an up and down game. I think. I mean, you just run up and down. It's just momentum and other stuff. We just got to keep working through it. Two of the starters, Peter Jacques and Tyler Cook, knew they did not show up with the energy needed in order to make it past Northwestern. And now they know what they need to do in order to compete against number 25, Maryland. We weren't locked into the game plan of what we needed to do defensively. And um, we obviously did not execute our stuff offensively and stuff. The ball was staying and we didn't move it side to side. Um, didn't have much um, you know, motion when the ball was down low and stuff like that. So um, we just didn't put anything together today. Well, we hope we are past this kind of stuff, but um, you know, it's part of the journey. You know, part of the process of growing is you know, you got to go through the, the hard stuff. So you know, we've been up and been down this season, so we're just going to you know, keep pushing and go back to work. I thought we was preparing. I thought we prepared really well for them. And um, I think just the way we, I mean, personally, I didn't really have any energy tonight. And I think they fed off that, that I didn't have any energy. And uh, so I think I personally, I just got to, um, just got to toughen up and what's going on with my, my person, with my body physically and, uh, and uh, be a better leader. I think I don't think I was a better, a good leader tonight. So just got to just got to get back and uh, watch film, like I say, and just get ready for Maryland. The Hawkeyes will be back in Carver Hawkeye Arena on Thursday as they take on Maryland at 6 p.m. Reporting from Welsh Ryan Arena, this has been Mary Kate Herrian for Daily Island TV Sports. Now, not only do the Hawks have to prove that they can bounce back from a loss like Northwestern and be a top 25 team in the country, but they have to prove that they are not the same team that showed up in Evanston last Sunday. Now looking at the matchup between Iowa and Maryland, a big part of both teams here are their freshmen. Iowa starts four freshmen while Maryland starts three rookies. That's right, and another one of Maryland's starters, Junior Mello Trimble will be another force against the Hawkeyes as he is one of the top ranked point guards in the country. They're different dramatically than the previous two teams we played, but that's not uncommon in our league. You know, they have uh, a really good guard play right now, great quickness. Uh, you know, the young guys are playing well, Trimble's playing really well. You know, Dodd is back. You know, he helps. You know, Joukowsky will help whenever he comes back. He could be back, I guess, we don't know. But you know, that gives them, you know, two seven-footers that changes the dimension of what they do. Like I said, just need to put in the full game plan together and really working together as a team. Um, we had lapses against Northwestern where we, we weren't playing all uh, five as one. Um, and we did that against Purdue. Um, we just got to have that mindset that we did against Purdue. He's one of the best point guards in the country. So, I mean, it's going to be a challenge for Jordan and the whole team, but he's not going to be the only one guarding him. So, uh, we just got to watch film and uh, follow the game plan, whatever coach tells us to do. So. Now, along with Trimble, Maryland also adds three six-seven starters. So that is definitely going to be an issue for Iowa. But mm -hmm. I think you know Tyler Cook has been playing great. Obviously, yep. not at the Northwestern game, yeah. but <laughs> he's at home. Yeah, so that will definitely help. As they've been playing great at home. Yep. Rents ranked Iowa State, ranked Purdue. So hopefully, ranked Maryland will be added on to their wins. Yeah, but it'll be well, interesting. Yeah. Well, in other Hawkeye news, Iowa track and field athlete O'Shea Wilson was just named Big Ten Field Athlete of the Week. Wilson competed in the long jump at the Hawkeye Invitational on January 14th and recorded a career best and NCAA leading jump of 7.86 meters. You can catch Wilson back in action this weekend at the Larry Weizak Invitational, which we will have updates from during next week's sportscast. Tune in tomorrow morning for updates from the Iowa-Maryland game. Noah, back to you.